Hey, welcome everybody to lesson two point. Ooh, am I green and flashy again? I don't know why that happened. Pay no attention. Welcome to lesson 2.4, weather patterns analyzing new data about Galetown. Hey, we have, we have new data. This is great. Uh, we're gonna learn uh, about a couple storms. We're gonna be focusing on the temperature um, of the atmosphere and of uh, Galetown uh, before those storms happened and uh, see if we can make some connections. Uh, to, oh, man, I'm distracted by that green, green flashy. Anyway, I'm gonna try not to look at it. Um, here we go, warm up, let's look at the warm up. Uh, in the warm-up, we get a letter from Dr. Kenji, and uh, Dr. Kenji gives us some, this data. Here's what, here's what he says. Uh, we gathered data about the air temperature before the storms started in Galetown and added it to this data table. Look carefully at the data table for storms two and three below. We think that temperature differences could be an important factor that can help explain the severe storms Galetown has been experiencing. Um, okay, so here's what they want to focus on, what want us to focus on, storms two and three. And... Uh, we are looking at uh, what, again, temperature, temperature before the storms, and how much rainfall each storm produced, okay? And what connections can we make there? Uh, here's, here's where we have to respond. One of the claims that is used to explain the severe rainstorms in Galetown is this, warmer weather caused Galetown to have more severe storms. Do you think that a higher temperature is affecting the amount of rain? Yes, no, not sure. Um, what do you think? Uh, and use, use the data from the data table. Also, just think back, too, about what we've done in the simulation, what we've been talking about so far. So far. Um, do you think that a higher temperature is affecting the amount of rain? And, and, and then explain. And explain. So if you think you do, uh, that, that it does affect the amount of rain, why? Why would it? Okay? So go ahead and answer the uh, warm-up question, analyze that data, and uh, come on back to me. Hey, let's talk about this really quick. Again, hey, we've encountered this before. I feel like one of the weaknesses here of <laughs> this unit is the lack of data. Um, we are being asked to uh, come up with some sort of decision based on what these storms right here. I want more data. I want more data before I'm going to sign my name on a uh, position of uh, which claim I think is best supported. Uh, that said, that said, this data uh, matches what we know and what we've been learning about, what we've seen in the sim. Um, this data matches that information. So I guess we could say it's further confirmation that yes, there probably is this connection between higher temperatures and the amount of rain that we get. And that makes sense. We know this. In fact, we're gonna use the modeling tool today in order to uh, show this. So yes, and, and what is that connection? Let's talk about it really quick. Higher temperature, right? If you have a higher temperature, that means that your air parcel, okay, is going to rise higher in the atmosphere, okay? The higher the temperature of your air parcel, the higher it's going to rise in the atmosphere. It's like, it's got little jet engines on it, rocket boosters on it, pushing it up into the atmosphere. It's got more energy, okay? So the higher the temperature of your air parcel, the higher it's gonna go in the atmosphere. Well, the higher it goes in the atmosphere, what? The colder it is, right? Uh, it's colder the higher you go up in the troposphere. So it's going to be lifting up high into the troposphere. Well, now it's going to be cooling off even more. The higher it goes, the more it's going to cool off. The more it cools off, the more condensation occurs. The more condensation occurs, the more potential for rain, right? So it does make sense. It does make sense. And it does go along with what we've been talking about so far. So we can say, even though we don't have a lot of data here, it matches what we think should happen, which is nice, which is nice. All right. Hey, uh, tab number two here, we're gonna skip this. We're gonna skip this. Feel free to review on your own um, and try to uh, come up uh, with your own sentences that explain, um, and in fact, that would be great practice for you. But what I wanna do is I wanna move us to uh, tab number three, modeling tool. And I have attached a, an editable modeling tool to your lesson in Google Classroom that you can uh, use. Um, and what we're doing is we are modeling two storms. So just like before uh, we modeled two storms, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna need to open up that attachment and you're gonna need to make two copies, one for storm two and one for storm three. Okay, so you need to make two copies of that attachment. You go to file, make a copy. Okay, let's read the directions here. It says in chapter two, 
You've been investigating how the temperature of an air parcel can affect the amount of rain in a storm. Use the modeling tool, effective temperature, to show how warmer weather caused different amounts of rain during two different storms in Gale Town. So we're going to start showing this, okay? Um, here's our goal right here. Use, using the items in the modeling tool key, right over here, uh, show how warmer temperatures cause different amounts of rain for storms two and three in Gale Town. All right, we got a lot of stuff to look at here. Here's storm two and here's storm three in our data table. We see that uh, our local surface water is high for both of them. We have different amounts of rain. Okay, we have a moderate storm and a severe storm. And it shows us the uh, temperature, the highest temperature recorded before the storm occurred. All right, and here is our key here. Let's see, we have these words that we can use for temperatures, uh, these words to describe the amount of surface water uh, or, or water in general. Uh, energy transfer arrows, ah, ah, remember these? and then the amount of rain in the cloud. Now let's actually take a look at this modeling tool. And here it is, here's, oh no, oh no. I think it's not recording that one. <laughs> uh, pause. All right, I think I solved it. Here's what I have to do though. I have to make this into two separate videos, sorry. So this ends video part one. Uh, go find video part two for weather patterns 2.3. Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll be attached to your lesson. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, be right back.